do have it to where alpha trees, when they're cut down, they can't talk to the younger trees. And so therefore, the younger trees um, can't carry the song of the alphas. And because of those reasons, the alphas only know so much information and they end up struggling, not realizing that they're making canopies, which also causes decay. And, um, and so now the alpha, you know, the children are no longer knowing their ancestral information. Um, one of the other things I've noticed, as well as some other scientists, is that trees are, you know, becoming into clumps of islands. And by doing so, that also causes disconnection to the next group of trees. Um, that's how, you know, their brains are in the ground, so those roots have to feed to each other. And while they're doing that, they also use the mushrooms as a way to also connect in those various formats to each other in a telecommunication way. Um, what's sad is that we don't realize that they have a network just like us. Um, we are a correspondent to how trees are. Um, the difference being is that um, we have gotten to a point where we think that we're disconnected from them, but we're not. They're always talking to us, but we have to calm ourselves down and slow ourselves down to hear them. Unfortunately, through media and through um, signals, they can jam it to where you do not hear those voices, which are on a certain frequency. And so therefore, um, we just think that trees can't speak because they don't have lips, but they always sing to our hearts. But people don't know about the hearts because they aren't connected to their ancestry. Yet again, we have literally divided the trees the way we've divided ourselves. So actually stopping logging would not only be the most beneficial for us, but if we want to survive this thing, it would also be beneficial for them.